Welcome back students to part 3 of chapter 5 Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. Today we will study Wildlife of Brazil. The wildlife of Brazil is very rich and diverse. To make it simple for you, I have divided the wildlife of Brazil into animals, birds and fishes. Animals in the swampy areas of the Pantanal, huge anacondas are found, guinea pigs, crocodiles, alligators, monkeys, also known as golden lion tamarind, leopards, pumas, a huge type of cat, and a variety of species of insects are found in Brazil. Among the fishes, swat fishes are found in the sea, while pink dolphins and piranhas are found in rivers. Amongst the birds, condor, which are huge in size and fly high in the sky, Various types of parrots such as macaw and flamingos are the major birds found in Brazil. On page number 34, based on figure 5.4, we need to answer some questions. The first question, name the species shown on the map. In which regions are these animals found? Why are the habitats found in these forests? Now before moving ahead, let us first try to understand what do we mean by habitats. A habitat is the natural home or an environment of a plant, animal or organism. It provides the organism with food, water, shelter and space to survive. The amount and distribution of these elements, that is food, water, shelter and space to survive, influence the types of wildlife that can survive in an area. So the type of animals that are found in the equatorial forest or the rainforest or the Amazon rainforest are first condor. Condor is a bird found in the Andes Mountains. They are so heavy that they need help to keep them afloat, that is keep them flying. Hence, they prefer to live in windy areas where they can glide on air currents with little effort. The second type of animal found in the equatorial forests, the golden lion tamarind, which is native to the Amazon rainforests of Brazil. They thrive or survive in the humid forest. Squirrels are also found in the Amazon rainforest. Dense undergrowth is their preferred habitat. Anacondas. Now, if you see, anacondas are found in the equatorial forest as well as the grasslands or the pantanals. So, let's see why they are found in these places. Anacondas live in the tropical rivers and swamps, either in the rainforests or grasslands. They are found in the equatorial forests because these forests lie near the Amazon basin. They thrive in the heat. That is, they grow very well in the heat, humidity and dense foliage of the rainforests. Kukutu, a type of bird, is also found in the rainforests. Now, we will see this animal in the next slide. Most birds live in the dense forest of the equatorial region looking for insects, fruits, nuts, etc. Here the parrot group includes cockatoos, parakeets and macaws. They live in the equatorial regions and 
also have adapted to living in the mountains and the tropical grasslands also known as savanna or cerrado. The Pantanal has the largest concentration of crocodiles in the world. Crocodiles live in semi-aquatic habitats including lakes, rivers and wetlands. So we see here uh, wetlands. They eat aquatic animals such as fish, snail and sometimes snakes as well. All flamingos are found in the tropical and the temperate regions. They are found in southeastern hot deciduous forests. Now this is the hot deciduous forest. They like warm and watery regions and enjoy spending time in the shallow lakes, swamps, sandy islands and mangroves. The swordfish is found in the tropical and the temperate regions. This is the swordfish. They are found in South Atlantic Ocean, the southern part of Brazil. The next question that we need to answer is classify the forest with reference to their extent. That means the different kinds of forests that are found in Brazil we need to mention from the biggest to the smallest and how it is spread in Brazil. So the maximum area is covered by the equatorial forest. So with reference to the extent, the equatorial forest covers maximum part of Brazil. So this is the equatorial forest. These forests are found in Guyana Highlands and the Amazon River basin in north and northwestern part of Brazil. After the equatorial forest, the tropical grasslands, also known as savanna or cerrado, occupy major part of Brazil. They dominate Brazil's center west. The next type of forest are the hot deciduous forests, which cover the southeastern part of Brazil. They are also known as Atlantic Forest. Katinga, the smaller part of Brazil, is covered by thorny shrubs. It dominates the northeastern part of Brazil. Pantanal dominates the western central Brazil at the southwest corner of the state of Mato Grosso. So these are the swampy lands. The last type of forest that we find in Brazil are the Pampas. Okay, it occupies a very small part of Brazil and it lies in the southernmost part of Brazil. So these are the Pampas. We now move on to degradation of forests in Brazil. Now before moving on to this topic, let us first try to understand what do we mean by degradation. Degradation means the deterioration of the health, quality and productive capacity of forest. They lose their capacity, that is the forest lose their capacity to provide important goods and services to people and the nature on the whole. Well, now, what are the causes of degradation? Some of the causes or major causes of degradation are illegal smuggling of wild animals, slash and burn agriculture or roca, deforestation, that is cutting of plants, and pollution. Now, what's the effect of degradation? Now, many endemic, that is native species, are on the verge of extinct. So the native species of Brazil that are on the verge of extinct in Brazil are the jaguar, golden lion tamarind, pink dolphin, macau, etc. One of the major re reasons of degradation of forest is roca. 
for subsistence agriculture. Now, what do we mean by substance, subsistence agriculture? Now, this type of farming is practiced on small patches of land. Now, a patch of land is cleared by slashing or cutting the trees and burning them. So, in the figure, we see that the trees are cut and burnt. The ash is then mixed with the soil and the crops to increase its fertility and kill unwanted plants and insects. So the ash is mixed with the soil to increase its fertility and to kill unwanted insects and plants. So this is the plot of land which is cultivated. When the soil loses its fertility, the land is abundant. Okay, and the cultivator or the farmer moves to a new plot or land. This type of farming mainly depends on the monsoon and natural fertility of soil. Crops are grown as per the suitability of the environmental condition. So depending upon the type of soil, weather, climate, everything, okay, crops are grown. Through this technique, the farmer grows just enough to fulfill the needs of his family. This type of farming is also called slash and burn agriculture. Slash and burn agriculture is also known as shifting cultivation. Slash and burn agriculture is known by different names in the world. In Brazil, it is known as Roca. With this children, we have come to an end of our today's topic, Wildlife of Brazil. Hope you have understood. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you.